All right, so the first handful of parts just showed up. Uh, two of these, the charger, and this is the associated wiring and the charge port. So we're going to go over um, what the different plugs are for and what a charger is, and more specifically how this Elcon charger works, what it does, why it's necessary. Um, so let's get started. So this right here, this is the charger itself. This takes AC current from the wall, either 120 or 240 volts, and converts it uh, to DC current, the appropriate DC current for your battery pack. And <clears throat> in my conversion, it's about 100 volts. So this is a the 96 volt version, but it works all the way up to 132 volts. Um, so you can see on this side here, there's a number of ports. So this is the inlet port. Uh, in the, in the uh, box that you're shipped in, there's also a, a charger or a charge plug. This just plugs into a 240 volt 20 amp uh, wall, wall socket. And then this goes right in there like that. Seals on there, and that's how you that's how you get the power in. Uh, I I will not be using this because this is not uh, obviously it's not very practical short cable, and there's not a lot of outlets like this. Uh, what I will instead be using is a charge port. This is a J1772 charge port, which is a very standard uh, connection. I mean. Let's see if it, there you go. Um, so this I'll have to wire up uh, to this this connector here, so I can just plug it right in there. Um, you can see the three thicker wires. That's where I'll have to connect on here. I have to splice those together, and then these two small wires right here. These are the uh, signal wires. To confirm, uh, to confirm that the plug is in the charge port and that charging can start. Uh, so that's it for the charge port. Right here in the middle, this is communications and 12 volt power. So as you probably saw earlier, let me flip it back over. There are a couple cooling fans on it and those cooling fans run off of 12 volts. Uh, so it needs 12 volt, a uh, source of 12 volt power. And this plug, which was also included, this uh, inside this thick shielding, there is negative and positive um, wires. So this plugs right into the big, the biggest of the small plugs, essentially, right here. And then you have your power on this wire, and then CAN bus, uh, which is a communications network. It's for vehicles, it's, it's uh, an automotive standard. So you can use this, it's more or less universal. And let's see, ah oh, yes, so these two fairly hefty cables with these big plugs on the end. This is what connects to these two, the red, positive, black, negative, of course. And these are what go to the battery positive and battery negative terminals uh, to actually charge the battery, connect directly to the battery pack. So these slot right in, like shown. Yep, these ones are a little tougher to get in. But there we go. Yeah, so this, they both go in just like that. And that's how you get the, the charge to the battery pack. So if you look at the wiring diagram in the manual, yeah, right here. So what I just said, the AC input, number one here, that's right there. Uh, DC output three and four, positive three, negative four, that's those two. 
and then signal control. So this you got your can low, can high, those are the two different can bus um, lines, and your 12 volt power, 12 volt in, 12 volt out, and that's all on this one plug. Where did I put it? Oh, it's, yeah, it's still right here. So that's all on that one, on this one plug. You can see uh, where the four, know, it's not really showing up, but there are four wires that come spliced out of this plug. And that's how you communicate with it. CAN bus you use to turn turn char the charger on and off. Uh, yeah. There's also, you can, instead of using CAN bus, you can just use a uh, 12 volt enable, which is a 12 volt, uh, but very low amperage. So it's more of a signal uh, to enable the charger. Uh, that's that's more important on the models that are not CAN bus enabled. This one, this version that I that I got is, so I don't need that. So I'm just going to be sticking with the CAN bus, which uh, I believe takes messages from the BMS regarding when to start charging the battery management system, when to start charging. Uh, let's try to get this off. There we go. Yeah, when to start charging, when to stop charging. You know when the battery is fully charged. Uh, if you overcharge a lithium battery, it can be dangerous, lead to a fire. So you definitely want to avoid that. So that's all for the charger. I'll be talking about the DC to DC converter next.